Another sex abuse scandal rocks a local high school. The accusations disturbing, but it's what administrators uncovered during their internal investigation that's really raising alarm tonight. Tonight, Farmington High School confirms firing one of its coaches over allegations of sexual abuse involving minors. Now we're getting word other coaches apparently knew what was going on and never reported it. The investigation centers around what allegedly happened to a handful of Farmington High athletes outside of school hours in the city of Detroit. Pamela Osborne picks up the story from there. Pam. At first, this was a story about one coach, an allegation of sexual assault involving minor student athletes. But in my communications with Farmington Public Schools, I learned three other basketball coaches were also fired for having knowledge of this and choosing not to report it. The basketball coaching staff at Farmington High School is gone following several allegations of sexual assault involving minors. Detroit police say the assaults happened in the city of Detroit, but the investigation, it centers around a boys basketball coach from Farmington High School. Farmington Public Schools say they first heard about the allegations last week and fired the unnamed coach immediately. There was an internal investigation that followed and late today, we learned as a result of that investigation, Three other basketball coaches were also fired for having knowledge of what was going on and choosing not to report it. In a statement, the district went on to say, to be clear, the other coaches are not accused of improper conduct with players. Rather, they did not meet the required threshold as mandatory reporters to ensure the safety and well-being of student athletes. And the district now offering support to those students as well as their families who have been impacted by all of this. What we can tell you about that investigation is that DPD's Special Victims Unit is investigating. We're told that there have been a number of interviews as well as careful review of physical evidence in this case. Once all of that is compiled and that investigation is complete, they will forward that over to the prosecutor's office. I did reach out to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office by phone and email today. We have not yet heard back. Still a lot of developments yet to come yeah. in this story. Reporting live tonight, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Yeah, Devin. We, we clearly have a lot more to learn. All right, Pamela.